This video shows you how to set up your new printer. Remove the power cord. QR sheet and safety information sheets. Remove the packing material. Open the front door, and then remove the imaging unit. Twist the blue latch to remove the toner cartridge. Do not touch the photoconductor drum, and do not expose it to direct light. Remove the packing material from the toner cartridge. Shake the toner cartridge to redistribute the toner. Insert the toner cartridge into the imaging unit. Insert the imaging unit. And then close the door. Remove the tray. And then adjust the guides. Flex, fan, and align the paper edges. Load the stack into the tray. To avoid paper jams, make sure that the paper stack is below the maximum fill indicator line. Insert the tray. Connect one end of the power cord to the printer. To avoid the risk of fire or electrical shock, Connect the other end of the power cord to an appropriately rated and properly grounded electrical outlet. Turn on the printer. Select the display language and your country or region, and then swipe left. For enhanced security, you can set up an admin account on your printer. If you do not want to set up an admin user account, then touch set up later. You can set up the printer using the Lexmark Mobile Assistant mobile app. Touch No to set up later. Touch Set up later to configure fax and email settings later. You can set up the fax and email settings using the settings menu when you are ready. Depending on your location, you can choose to send printer usage and performance information to Lexmark anonymously. Information such as number of pages printed, toner levels, device errors, and metrics help Lexmark improve device performance and enable better service. Swipe left. You can connect your printer to a wireless network. Touch setup on printer panel. Select a wireless network, and then enter the password. You have successfully connected to a wireless network. Touch OK. Touch confirm and launch. Download and install the recommended driver. Go to lexmark.com drivers and then search for your printer model. The printer is now ready to use.